there are so many animals uh, in this park. It's been a while since I've last recorded a video in English. Working in perfumeries, uh, every time I receive people that were asking me which can be the entry-level niche fragrance. I don't know if it's a good idea to film in the park because you're gonna listen to a lot of voices but regarding the subject of the video I think that this can be interesting. I decided to select some fragrances that can sweet the taste of people that has always used designer brands fragrance. Let's go through the selection that I've made for you. I start with the a fragrance that is uh, so common now in perfumery. Uh, Sauvage of Dior is such a huge success. It was released uh, two years ago, I think, and it is uh, um, so great. It is a fragrance that it has um, so beautiful characteristic. It's uh, woody, it's kind of ambery and sweet. Uh, and uh, it's fresh at the same time. What can be something that you may start using if you want to substitute it uh, or if you're cu curious uh, to use uh, uh, something different? Uh, for sure, notes of Robert Piguet. Uh, Robert Piguet uh, has a link with Dior because uh, it's a fashion brand, a fashion house, uh, that um, uh, was very, very famous in the 50s uh, and they say that the Christian Dior uh, himself uh, was starting his career at uh, Robert Piguet house. Uh, with notes, uh, I think that you are really into a uh, very, very, very close composition to uh, the Sauvage of Dior, but uh, you may appreciate uh, maybe the quality of the raw material that are inside this bottle. Let's jump to another one that I think uh, you guys uh, are waiting for from for a long time Aqua di Gio of Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gio I think it's a worldwide bestseller male fragrance uh, still and um, Aqua di Gio it's a uh, great fragrance. It's um, a fragrance that is fresh, that is fruity, uh, marine side, uh, that makes it so subtle and uh, uh, persistent at the same time. So it's uh, of course an all-time favorite for a lot of you guys and my suggestion uh, is to Try Costiera of Gritti. It's a, a bit more uh, uh, bitter. <laughs> Costiera is, um, is not so fresh like uh, Aqua di Gio, but uh, you, it's more like the, um, the name of the fragrance says, Costiera. Costiera for us uh, in Italy is Costiera Malfitana. It's uh, uh, a place uh, that is so uh, related to summer, that is so um, uh, related to a moment, uh, a very pleasant moment, uh, time after, uh, after work, uh, in, during vacation and so Costiera for us it's a sort of state of mind. Let's jump uh, to something that mm, here in Italy and I think also in Europe uh, is under the spotlight which is uh, the Mugler Cologne. Uh, this one now has been uh, um, widened to an entire line so you're gonna see also other bottles with uh, uh, other colors and other tastes. Uh, to be honest I've not uh, uh, tasted them uh, yet and I'm very curious because they seem to be um, immediate, quick, uh, as much as this uh, Cologne is. Mugler uh, has done uh, something fresh, green, pleasant, uh, something, it's like a Sunday Cologne, it's like something that you wear, just wear something because you like the smell but you don't want to be, to think a lot about what you're wearing. How to substitute it, maybe you may go in the Creed house with the original vetiver. A lot of you have uh, written to me, Alberto, the, these two are uh, copy. I mean, uh, Creed, the original vetiver, it's a dupe for uh, Mugler, uh, Cologne and vice versa. Uh, to be honest, uh, I have to say that they are very, 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 very close and... Um, and 
I think that also my friend <laughs> has to say that uh, we are right. But please, I'm fucking scared. Okay. Then uh, let's go again on a citrus fragrance uh, and uh, this is a classic, uh, it's uh, one of my all-time favorites uh, and it's uh, the, uh, of course, uh, Au Sauvage of Christian Dior. Uh, this is an icon uh, of, from the 70s uh, and I think that it, for a lot of people that are using this fragrance uh, it's perfect. So they don't want to maybe uh, substitute it with anything and uh, I think they're right. I think that uh, it's perfect uh, like it is. But uh, if you want to try to discover something that can be close, my uh, suggestion is Bois Agrumi Amari. Bois, it's an Italian brand. Bois means Bottega Italiana Spigo. And uh, with Agrumi Amari we have um, the same bitter, uh, spicy uh, side that you can find uh, the, into the Eau Sauvage fragrance. It's not of course uh, precisely the same but it's something that can be interesting and maybe that can be that that can please also a person that uh, may have used uh, Eau Sauvage from so long because usually people that are uh, into Eau Sauvage are very 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 loyal to that fragrance when I say that uh, um, I want to suggest uh, to you fragrances uh, uh, in order to enter the niche market, of course it's not uh, um, uh, as saying that something is better than something else. It's only, uh, for me, a matter of uh, choices in terms uh, of uh, what you want uh, to wear. If you want to wear something that uh, is uh, part of the life of a lot of people, of course you do right to choose something from designer brands if you want something more unique something that is um, for you if you want to say that you are wearing a fragrance that it's only yours like more personal of course you can go and find something from niche market and now from Dior to Chanel Bleu de Chanel is uh, Again, another fragrance that has uh, like Sauvage from Dior, uh, um, such a huge success and I think that uh, it is chosen by people that want uh, something um, elegant uh, and something... Uh, Oh, che bello, è arrivato il trattore, il trattore, oh my god, we have the trattore there, ok, are you? <laughs> ok, and with the trattore, of course, we cannot go on with the Bleu de Chanel, so let's do a pause, so that it's gonna change the light, of course, but it's life of a YouTuber. I think that the ideal Chanel man is so elegant, so precise. How to substitute this fragrance? Maybe with the Creed the Green Irish Tweed. You can make a step towards a Creed house with a Green Irish Tweed jacket, with the comfy of this jacket, but also how elegant it is uh, to wear. And uh, Green Irish Tweed is a fougere with uh, woody notes, uh, fresh green notes, and is, uh, it has something spicy that makes it slightly bitter. Let's go with uh, now a complete different man. This man can be the one of Versace Eros. Versace Eros uh, is chosen by a man that is more powerful, that wants to show his strength. Uh, why not pass to a, again another fragrance from Mugler? It's a Mugler Fougère Furieuse. This is a private collection. I'm very fond of this collection because they are really new. They are fragrances that are not uh, something that you may find around uh, at Mugler uh, starting from Angel, uh, the feminine uh, that was released in uh, 92 uh, usually try to make milestones uh, they don't want to uh, copy or to follow trends and uh, I think that they are gonna have a lot of success when they are going to release the possibility to recharge 
the bottle because it's a pity you know when you have such a great bottle to uh, throw it away when the fragrance uh, is over and uh, this Fougère Furieuse, I love also the name, is something I suggest to you if you want to pass from Versace Eros. Then uh, I think uh, we are done. The one that is missing is uh, the One Million. One Million is uh, such a huge success. It's like in feminine uh, designer brands fragrance, uh, um, how it's called? It's uh, uh, Narciso Rodriguez. Narciso Rodriguez for her. It was released uh, and without communication, without advertising and it was uh, so quickly a success. We have passed a lot of time together on Periscope uh, uh, thinking about uh, this uh, project, uh, about how weird it is to wear something that is containing to uh, gold uh, uh, and it's incredible it's incredible how quick uh, these perfumes uh, became successful and if you want to know how to substitute it we'll see each other in the next video please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my video and turn on the bell notification to be aware when I'm gonna upload a new video and please uh, uh, also go on Instagram Facebook and Twitter if you want to be in touch with me and uh, thank you very much for your time bye mamma come lento lo zoom di questa No, ma ti prego, ma è veramente una pecora. Ma che porta tra l'altro senza guinzaglio, cioè il cane ha il guinzaglio e la pecora invece no, perché risponde meglio del cane. Che cos'ha in bocca? Genio.